Well, friends and co workers are remembering a fallen firefighter who died this weekend in the line of duty. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden is at Belmont Hills Fire Company with the story. Joe, good evening. Yuki, good evening. The chief of the Lower Marion Township Fire Department confirms that Belmont Hills is out of service for the time being. Lots of people paying their respects to the brothers and sisters who make up this fire company here in Belmont Hills. Tonight, a man who was lost on Saturday morning being remembered as an extraordinary guy. The fire service lost a man with an unquestionable work ethic and a memorable smile. He's just a nice guy, fun guy. He always had a smile on his face, you know, nothing, nothing bothered him. Tom Roy spent the last 32 years responding to calls in Lower Marion Township. The single father was also a captain with the Clifton Heights Department. His sudden line of duty death early Saturday has sent shockwaves through the emergency services community. One already reeling from the sudden death of firefighter Sean DeMonk earlier this month. Truly dedicated individual who. who uh, Gave of himself, you know, more than more than a lot of other people do, and uh, we, we need more people like that in our fire service here. Tom Royds drove the fire truck to Saturday morning's call on the Schuylkill Expressway. He and his crew were assisting state police when investigators say a woman named Jacqueline Walker crashed into them. In statements to detectives, it's alleged Walker confessed to drinking and driving, apparently telling police she was lost and thought she was on Interstate 295. Police say they recovered a bottle of rum from her car. Two other firefighters remain hospitalized with injuries described to be significant. It is a sad situation. Paula Flowers met Tom Royds, where the two worked at a landscaping firm. You told me something on the phone about Tom. The world needs more Toms. The world needs more Toms. And having gained an angel. Well, just a couple of weeks ago, Lower, Lower Marion Township's uh, fire chief tells me that Tom was discussing with his own family members what his final wishes would be should something ever happen to him. Those wishes that he be cremated and that one big party follow after that. Part of the grieving process comes on Saturday morning when there will be a public viewing for Tom at Lower Marion High School. We're live in Belmont Hills. I'm Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. It's so incredibly sad for that department. Thanks, Joe.